What's up everybody. Welcome back to the channel today. We're going to be doing yet another Pilates meets strength workout. Today we're going to be using one medium to heavy ish dumbbell. I have a 10 pound dumbbell. If you have that or equivalent, go ahead and grab onto that. We are just going to start off in a warm up. So I want you to come into a standing position on your mat, feet about hips distance apart. We're going to press down into the heels, spread our weight evenly in between the big toe, all five of those toes, the pinky side edge, all that good stuff. Give me a soft bend at the knees. We'll take a big inhale, filling the body up with air, letting the shoulders naturally just float up towards the ears. And then we'll exhale, drop the shoulders down and back. Let it go. Good. Three more like that. Nice big inhale. And we'll exhale out. Let it go. Good. Two more big inhale. And we'll exhale out. Let it go. This will be our last one. Nice big inhale. And then we'll exhale out. Let it go. Good. From right here, walk your feet out so that they're a little bit wider than your hips. We'll take a big inhale, circling the arms around and up. You'll exhale, hinge forward at your hips, reaching your hands down for your mat. Once you get there, I'm going to mirror you just so that you know you're going to bend into your left knee, straighten out through your right leg. We'll exhale up to center. Same thing over the other way. Bend into the right knee, straighten out through the left leg. Let's do that two more times up to center, over to the left. Good. Exhale, press it up and then come over to the right. We'll go one more each side, bending into the left, coming up to center and then pressing over to the right. Good. Keep bending into that right knee. Take your left hand down to the mat. Inhale, reach that right arm up. Fingertips reach up towards the ceiling, open up into your chest. Big inhale and then exhale, let it go. Right hand will come down. We'll walk ourselves over to our left knee, bending into the knee, straightening out through the right leg. Right hand comes down. We inhale, reach that left arm up. Fingertips point up to the ceiling. Big inhale. And then exhale, we take it right back down. From here, we're going to press ourselves back to center, two straight legs. You exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. You're going to roll yourself all the way back up to standing. And then once you get there, we're going to go ahead and get right into things. Go ahead and grab onto your weight. We're going to be starting off in a single leg deadlift. So I'm going to flip to the side. We'll go right foot down. Left leg's going to go back behind you. That weight's going to come into your left hand. You'll let the weight come right in front of your hip. From here, all we're going to do is take an inhale. You're going to hinge forward, little bend into that right knee, reaching the weight down. You'll exhale, press into the heel, stand up. We have two and one inhale. We're going to hinge it forward, little bend in the right knee. Let that left leg go out nice and long. Exhale, press into the heel, come up to stand. We keep going like that. Inhale, hinge it forward. Whoop exhale, press it up. Now you might feel a little bit unbalanced right here. That's okay. That's what we're working on. If you're like me, you have a tendency to kind of roll in onto your ankle. So for you, especially if you feel like you're rolling in onto your ankle, I need you to think a little bit about putting some extra pressure to the outside edge of your foot. So not only are we pressing down into the heel, we're also pressing down into the big toe, into the outside edge of the foot. Whoop. Now, if you need to tap that back toe down fine with me, you can put a little bend into that back knee. Take your single leg deadlift from right there. We're going to be here uh, under 10 seconds. Okay. Just for five, four. Oh my gosh. Three, two, last one. My balance is not doing so good today. Swap your weight over into the opposite hand. We're going to do that same thing over on the other leg. So left foot's going to stay down. Right leg's going to kick back. Your weight has now switched over into your right hand. Same kind of thing. All right. We'll head in in five, four, three, two, last one. Left foot plants down. Right leg is going to go back behind you. Square the hips off on an inhale. You're hinging forward through the upper body, letting that um, right leg kick back. Exhale. We push into the left heel. We stand up nice and tall. Inhale, hinge it forward. Exhale, press into the heel, come up to stand. We'll keep on going like that. Same thing as with the first side, <laughs> right? Sometimes that's easier said than done. I'm just like, you know, do what you did on the other side. It should be about the same, but it's actually a lot more complicated than that. Good. Now, maybe you feel a lot more wobbly on this side. That's all right. That's not a big deal. It's honestly to be expected. I'm honestly a little bit more worried <laughs> if you don't feel different from side to side. That's what I like to tell people. 
good. We'll be here just for five, four, three, two, last one. Go ahead and bring both feet in, drop that weight off to the side. Next exercise, we're gonna have the right foot forward. We're gonna step back into a long lunge, come halfway in. We'll go back and in, okay? That's the plan. We just have five, four, three, two, last one. Right foot steps forward, we take that left leg. You're gonna step back, pull halfway in, back and in, back and in. Now, as we take that halfway lunge, I really want you to focus on sitting the hips down and back. Good. We're really never straightening out through the right leg, so you should start to feel a lot of tension and a lot of heat building in that right glute and in the hamstring. Good. Whew. If you want to add on with the arms, sometimes that helps. <laughs> Sweep the arms back as you're in that nice long lunge. Pull the hands in as you step halfway in. Good, right about now, you'll probably feel a whole lot of heat in that hamstring. So just keep it going. Good, we've got five, four, three, two, last one. Go ahead and stand all the way up. Take a deep breath. Okay, right? That burns out the right leg pretty quick. So just take a second, reset, breathe. We'll do that same thing on the other side. Now your heart rate's up a little bit, right? <laughs> Good, we're gonna get in in five, four, three, two. Last one, left foot stays down. We take that right leg, you step back, pull halfway in, back and in, back and in, back. And in. Now for me, when I step back into a lunge, I like to hinge forward. That just helps me to feel, honestly, a little bit more comfortable, right? So you're getting a slight change at the hips, slight change in the upper body. Good. Whoo! Pressing down nice and heavy into that left heel. Oh my gosh. If you need to take a second, you take a second, okay? If you need to follow my lead, you follow it. Ouch. I'm filming this like the weekend after Christmas, so I haven't worked out. I mean, honestly, when did I work out? On Friday? I don't remember. We have five, four, three, two, last one. Go ahead and stand all the way up. Final exercise of this circuit, we're just gonna take a parallel squat. Wow. Feet about hips distance apart, all 10 toes point forward. We're just gonna lower and lift. You doing good, hopefully. All right, great, we have five, four, three, two, last one. We inhale, sit down and back, exhale, press into the heel, stand it up. Whew. Ouch, pace is totally up to you, so if you wanna pick it up, just go for it, man. You got it. Good, if you wanna add on with the arms, you just swing the arms back and forth. Pull them to the chest as you lower. Swing them back towards the hips as you stand. Good, every time you stand up, you're driving down into your heels. So we should have no problem feeling the hamstrings engage at this point, right? We warmed them up with that nice lift at the top. Good. Ooh, man, I'm out of breath. And just like with every video, I'm gonna blame it on the altitude. <laughs> Good, all right. 10 more seconds right here. So just keep on moving with me. Whew, we have five, four, three, two, last one. Go ahead and stand everything up. We're gonna do that circuit one more time through, starting from the top with our single leg deadlift. So when you're ready, oh, <laughs> grab back onto your weight. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, weight comes into the left hand, right foot's gonna go down, left leg shoots back. We have five, four, three, two, last one. Right foot forward, left foot's gonna kind of kick stand back behind you. You're gonna inhale, slight bend in the right knee, hinge forward, and then exhale, press down into the right heel. You stand all the way up. Good, and you take this as slowly as you need to. You guys know if you've done this style of workout with me before, we're not here for a really long time, right? It's a little bit under 40 minutes today, okay? So you make this work for you. If you have to go a little bit slower today, that's cool with me. 
If you're in a faster mood, fine. If you feel stable, awesome. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I don't quite feel stable today. Also, you guys, I'm just going to say, sorry if I seem a little bit off. I got a comment over the weekend that is just kind of like ruining my day. They just kind of like came at my teaching style. So I'm feeling a little bit off. Okay. We have five, four, three, two, last one. Go ahead and stand all the way up. We're going to swap it over to the other side. Sorry to bring down the mood, but I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> if I seem a little bit off, it's because I am. And this is for all those keyboard warriors out there. Your words do affect us. They really do. Okay. We're going to hit the other side, single leg deadlift in four, three, two, last one. Left foot forward. Your weight switches into that right hand. You're going to inhale, hinge it forward, kicking the right leg back. Exhale. You press into your left heel, stand all the way back up. Now for me, I feel a lot stronger on this side. I feel like I have a little bit more to work with. I feel a lot more stable. Maybe you feel that way too. Maybe not. Either way is totally fine. Yeah. Anyway, so it's just, you know, a good reminder. And I know you guys doing my workouts, you know, usually I never get comments like that on my workouts. I expect kind of rude comments on my videos where I'm trying out other people's workouts or like my, I did Pilates for 30 days or 90 days, whatever. I expect kind of rude comments on those never on my workouts. So it really just like took it out of me. So I just want to say, I love you guys. And I'm trying to only spread love and light and positivity. I hope you are too. Give me just four, three, two, last one. Go ahead and stand all the way up. Toss that weight off to the side. Okay. We're done with it for the lower body portion, but we still have three more exercises to go right here. Then we hit upper body. Okay. You're doing great. <sighs> Am I doing great though? I don't know. Right foot's going to go forward, left foot back. We have three, two, last one. Stand in that right foot. You step back. Nice long lunge. Pull it halfway in. Step back pull it in. If you want to add on with the arms, you add on with the arms. If you're feeling a faster pace, you're going to take that creative liberty. For me, just because I want to focus a little bit more on endurance and I want to be able to breathe as I'm talking to you, I'm going to keep things a little bit slower. Okay. But that's just my feeling. That's my vibe today. So if you need to pick it up, I get it. Go for it. If that's something you're working on is speed and control, then that's where I want you to go. Good. Okay. This workout's going to come out. I think it's the third weekend of January. So at this point, we're like probably about two weeks in, two and a half weeks in to our new year's resolutions. How are those going for you guys? Did you set any new year's goals? We have five, four, three, two, last one. Stand all the way up. Nice deep breath. I didn't really set any like new year's health goals really. I think always a goal of mine is to like average between eight and 10,000 steps a day. So I'm going to carry that through to the new year. How about you guys? What's going on? Okay. We hit the other leg in three, two, last one, left foot forward, right foot steps back. We find that nice long line lunge and then step about halfway in back and in back and in. Remember pace is totally up to you. <sighs> like how many times can I say that today? Feels like a lot, but it's always a good reminder right? Especially at the top of a new year, it's good to be reminded that we're in control of not only like the pace, also the intensity, right? We're in control of what exercises we do, what exercises we don't. That's why I give you a lot of options as I teach and as we move throughout stuff. Whew. Keep on breathing. You've got it under control. Good. Whew. Ouch, you guys. Okay, we have five, four, three, two, last one. Go ahead and stand all the way up. Nice deep breath. Okay, now we get into that parallel squat. Man. I think it's because I only filmed one strength workout last week, so I, my body's like not quite conditioned yet. Okay, parallel squat in four, three, two, last one. We inhale, sit down and back. Exhale, press into the heel, stand all the way up. Good. Perfect. 
Good. Just keep breathing. Most important thing right here, I would say steady, even breath, right? So if you have to slow it down, you slow it down. If you're cool, you speed it up. I'm going to keep it slow, right? I'm going to prioritize my breath right here. Good. Oh, you guys are doing so good. Perfect. Okay, we're more than halfway through. Keep moving, keep breathing with me. We've got this. Okay, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Go ahead and stand up, take a nice deep breath. 20 seconds right here, and we need to make our way all the way down to the mat, okay? So just take your way, <laughs> make your Make your way down there, okay? We're gonna go uh, left knee down, right foot's gonna step out. You grab onto that weight by the end caps. We're gonna do a wood chopper in four, three, two, and one. So take that weight right out by your left hip. You're gonna give me a big exhale. Make a big diagonal line, rotate open through the chest, lift that weight up. Inhale, follow that same diagonal line, take it right back down. Big exhale, we sweep things up. Inhale, we take it right back down. Good. So we got rotation through the chest right here, rotation in the upper body, but we're trying not to rotate at the hips. Now I will say, I feel my hips rotating. Oh gosh. So it's okay if you feel your hips rotating too. It's okay if you decide you need a lighter weight. I should probably grab a lighter weight right here. Cause I'm feeling sweaty. This weight's gonna slide right out of my hands. <laughs> okay. Actually, I'm gonna grab another weight, but you guys keep moving through it. We've got about 12 seconds right here. And this is when it's helpful to have two sets of weights. Good, just give me five, four, three, two, last one. Everything comes in. Decide which weight you wanna stick with. I'm gonna stick with this five pound weight. We're doing that same thing over on the other side. So just swap out your knees, right knee down. Left foot's gonna come out. We grab onto the weight by the end caps, take it outside of your right hip. You have five, four, three, two, last one. Big exhale, draw that sweeping diagonal line up and then inhale, take it right back down. Good. Whew. Perfect. Now, as we're sweeping up, I would love it if you could keep your shoulders down and away from your ears. Sometimes it's a little bit trickier said than done. Okay. But you're just going to try your best. And if that means you only lift your weight up to about eye level, it's okay. That's all I can really do. Once I go higher than that, I lose a lot of the control in my shoulders. I lose a lot of the stability in my shoulders, which is, it's not my preference for when I'm doing exercises. I'm trying to find a lot of control. Good. We have five, four, three, two, last one. Take everything in. You can put your weight off to the side. For this next exercise, we're gonna come down into a tabletop position, knees down, hands in front of us, okay? We're just gonna start by lifting the right arm up. We'll take it down, left arm up, we take it down. We have four, three, two, and last one. Big exhale, you lift that right arm up, Inhale, it comes right back down. Left arm up, inhale down. We'll keep going like that. Right away, pretty much you're gonna feel a shift in your core as you start to lift one arm up. My goal for you right here is to keep your hips right on top of your knees. Okay, so we're maintaining as much stability as we can in our core, which you guys know is not only your your six pack abs or what you would think of as your six pack abs, but your whole core kind of encompasses the muscles that surround your spine and your low back, right? So if you start to feel your pelvis is dipping forward, we wanna make some steps and some moves to pull the belly button in, pull hips to ribs. So we find our neutral spine and we try and maintain right there. Now, if you're like me and you hyperextend your elbows, just give me a soft bend for three, two, Last one, good. You can go hips to heels, reach the arms long in front of you. Take a big deep breath. Let me adjust the sports bra. The sports bra is a little bit low cut. I'm not used to it, so 
just bear with me. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna do a knee push up. We'll press up to down dog and do a pike push up. I'll walk you through. We have three, two, last one. Hands come down, knees go back. You're gonna inhale, lower down. Exhale, press away. Tuck the toes under, press the hips up. You might have to walk your feet a little bit closer. You'll inhale, bend the elbows, forehead down. Exhale, press away. We shift back to plank, knees down, lower lift, tuck the toes, press up, bend and press. Now you might get to a point that you feel like you have to adjust hand positioning and foot positioning. That's all right. I'd always rather that you adjust your positioning than try and push through in like the incorrect alignment. Okay. So like here, my hands are kind of in a weird spot. So <laughs> Just make the adjustments that you need to. Not all of our bodies are the same length, so it might not work great for all of us. Just try and seamlessly go from one to the other. All right, we just have three, two, last one. We're gonna go hips all the way back to the heels, arms long in front of you, big inhale. And then exhale out, let it go. We start that back up from the top. <laughs> so when you're ready, we set back up for that wood chopper. We'll go right foot down, left knee down. We have four, Three, two, last one. Grab onto that weight by the end caps. Take it right in front of your left hip. Big exhale. Draw that sweeping diagonal line up and then inhale. Bring it right back down. Big exhale, twist and sweep. Inhale, take it right back down. Good. Good. Okay. Same thing that we talked about when we did this the first time through, we're trying to keep shoulders down and back shoulders away from the ears. And I'm trying my best to show you guys what that looks like. I have kind of funky shoulders. So if it looks different in your body, that's perfectly okay. Perfectly. Okay. Good. You guys are doing really well. I know you are good. I know I can't see you, but I can feel it. I can feel the energy. You guys always come through in the comments. Good. Ooh, give me five, four, three, two, last one. Perfect. Everything comes down. We're going to swap over to the other side. Right knee down. Left foot's going to come out. We create that 90 degree bend at the knee. It's called a standing captain position. All right. We just have five, four, three, two, Last one, grab onto your weight by the end caps, take it right in front of the right hip. Big exhale, draw that sweeping diagonal line up and then inhale, follow it right back down. Good, again, we get that little bit of rotation in the chest. I want you to try and press down into your left heel. See if that helps you to feel a little bit more stable in your pelvis at all. Hopefully it does. <laughs> Good. Good. Okay. If you feel a little bit wobbly right here, that's all right. I'll be honest. This is not the most stable position for our hips. Good. But that's why we're here. So you can kind of fight for that stability a little bit harder. Good. You guys, you're doing so, so good. Perfect. Give me just five, four, three, two, Last one, take everything in. You can put the weight off to the side for right now. Okay, we're coming back around into that tabletop position. This time I'll face this way. Hands go down, knees go back. Okay, get set up right there. And then if you have a second, just take a cat cow. Good, we have four, three, two, Last one, find that strong tabletop pressing into the fingertips, the heels of the hand. We're gonna inhale, lift that right arm up, bicep by the ear, exhale, bring it down. Inhale, we lift that left arm up, exhale, we take it down. Now I kind of got caught off, cut off on the other side. If you hyperextend at your elbows, right? Like the eyes of my elbows point forward, I kind of lock out a little too far right here. If that happens to you too, you just give me a soft bend at the elbows. I find it pretty helpful to spread the fingertips out nice and wide, and then just maintain that bend as you start to lift. Good. That's gonna help us just, you know, just so that you don't feel anything weird going on <laughs> in your elbows. 
usually if you hyperextend, you might not even know that you hyperextend, and that's all right. You may have no worries right here. Good, just give me five, four, three, two, and one. Hips go all the way back to the heels. You reach those arms long in front of you. Take a second, reset, breathe. Okay, we're doing really good. This workout is breezing by. <laughs> I'll be honest, I wasn't like super looking forward to filming this. I just, I've been in kind of a weird funk, but that's okay. We're here, I feel a lot better now. Okay, we're gonna head back in. We have three, two, last one. Hands down, knees back. Okay, we inhale, bend at the elbows, lower down to your mat. You can come all the way down too. Big exhale, you press away, tuck the toes under. Find that down dog, maybe walking the toes in just a little bit. You're gonna inhale, crown of the head down. Exhale, press away. Knees drop down. Maybe you have to walk them back. Again, inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Now you take this however you need to. My hands are feeling a little bit sweaty, so I'm just going to take a second. <laughs> I'm going to take a second. Okay. We just keep going right from here. We're much more than halfway through this, which is the good news. Okay, we're almost all the way through this workout. All right, you're doing good just for five. Ooh, four, three, two, last one. Press all the way away, hips back to the heels, arms go long in front of you. Give me a big deep breath, big inhale. <sighs> Exhale out, let it go. Good. Okay. From right here, grab back onto your weight. Doesn't matter which one you choose. I think I'm going to stick with the five pound. 10 pound just feels a little heavy right now. Okay. We're going to head into something. I'm going to walk you through two and one feet come out, bend the knees. You're going to roll back into a C curve, grabbing onto that weight by the end caps. We're going to twist towards the right, lifting the left leg up. And then we come back to center. Left foot comes down. We twist to the right, left leg lifts. Inhale, take it right back down. Twist and lift. Take it down. Now, if you start to feel tension in your low back, you're just gonna lift up about an inch. If you feel like you can handle a little bit more, you're gonna roll back a little bit further, okay? Now, that was kind of a rush getting into it, but the good thing about these workouts is we're in the exercise for about a minute, right? So if you lose five seconds at the top or five seconds at the end, it's fine. Good, we're trying just to rotate through the rib cage, which is surprisingly tricky. Good. All right, we just have five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and come all the way up. You can just take a little forward fold over your knees, big deep inhale. <sighs> Exhale out, let it all go. We'll do that same thing on the other side. So the weight stays where it's at. We're gonna twist over to the left, lift that right leg in. Four, three, two, last one. We roll things back. Take that weight between your hands, elbows out wide. You're gonna inhale, twist to the left, lift that right leg up, exhale to center. Twist and center. Twist and lift, come through center. Twist and lift, come through center. We keep going like that. Good. You're doing really good, you guys. Okay. Good. We're more than halfway there. Just keep moving with me. Good. And we're actually going to cut this core circuit a little bit short. It's only going to be three exercises. So we've just got one more after this because that wood chop did us double time, core and upper body. Good, just give me five, four, three, two, last one. Right foot comes down. You roll all the way up, put that weight off to the side. From right here, forearms are gonna come down to the mat. We're gonna keep our toes down on the mat. Knees are gonna bend. You're just gonna slide one foot out, pull it in, slide the opposite foot out, pull it in. Okay, we have three, two, Last one, we're pressing up and away from the forearms. You can slide that right leg out, pull it in. Maybe you hover the toes, slide it out, pull it in. Weirdly difficult on your low abs and your core, right? But you got it. Stay open through the front of the body, open through the chest, keep the shoulders dropping away from the ears. Good, and if you start to feel like, 
know, if you start to feel like you're dumping down into the forearms or kind of dumping down into the shoulders, we just want to reevaluate. We're in that same kind of C curve position that we were in when we just did that um, twist and lift, right? So pulling belly button to spine with every exhale, good. You'll be happy this is our last exercise right here. <laughs> good, good, good. You're doing great. Keep on breathing just for five, four, three, two, last one. Everything comes in right here. You're going to press yourself all the way up. Swing the legs around so that you come up into a tabletop position. Hands go down, knees go back. We get shoulders over wrists, hips right over knees. Once you get there, you give me a big inhale. Dip the belly button down, open up through your chest, draw the shoulder blades back. We'll exhale, press away, curve the spine, look back to the tops of your legs. Good, one more like that. We inhale, dip down, open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. Big exhale, press away. Good, with that, we're gonna sit hips all the way back to the heels, arms again, nice and long in front of you. Press down into the heel of the hand, squeeze a little bit underneath the armpits. We'll inhale to walk both of our hands over towards the right, finding length in that left side. Breathing into the space between our rib cage, big inhale. We'll exhale, let it go. Good. Walk both of your hands through center and then take them over towards the left. Again, finding length into that right side, big inhale. We'll exhale out, let it go. Beautiful. Hands walk back to center. You can walk yourself all the way back up to seated. And then once you get there, you guys made it all the way to the end. Good work today, you guys. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video.